the attribute command lets you change a couple things about files, such as marking them read-only, system, hidden, or archived. And we're going to go over what each one of those things means, one at a time. For demonstration purposes, I would like to take some files on a disk, like this one, and copy them over so we can change their attributes. Now, let's use the tree forward slash f command to take a look at the files that are in the folders. Okay, there's some budgets and some recipes in here. So in the example of the recipes, say we won't need to go back and edit the files anymore, so we can mark them as read-only. To do that, we can use the attrib command, followed by the plus for adding an attribute, r for read-only, and forward slash s is going to apply it to these files and any subdirectories under recipes. So if we type in the trib again, it's going to show us the attributes that are currently on the files, which now we have an R next to all of them, which means read only. In the event we decide that we no longer want the files to be read only, we can go back and use the minus R to remove the attribute. And then if we check attributes, they are no longer read only. For the example of a hidden file, let's go look at the work folder. So these are a list of documents that may pertain to an employee that was released from a company, hypothetically. So we probably don't want those to be visible by just typing in the dir command. So what we can do is change its attributes to hidden. So now if we look, all of the files in this directory have the hidden attribute. So what happens when you use the directory command is no results. All of the files are hidden. This is more to clean up the directory structure so when you're looking for files you're not seeing a bunch that you'll never work with. It's not really a security measure because you can always type in dir forward slash a and see the files in there. Like so. No. All of the files that we've worked with so far have this attribute of A already assigned to them. It means archived. That's DOS's way of knowing if a file needs to be backed up or not, as if it was changed since the last time a backup happened, which is something we'll discuss in a later video. But similar to adding or removing attributes, you can do it with plus A to add or minus A to remove the archived attribute. The last attribute to cover is the system attribute. You can assign that to a file and DOS will treat it as a system file, as do other programs that are looking for system files, like say a defragment program that is trying to move all of these system files to one location on the hard drive. And there we go, we have marked all of these documents as system files, uh, as well as them being archived as they were originally.